All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to be going over how you can make um, the text of a text label different colors. Okay. So what I mean by that is a paragraph in a text label. Maybe you want specific words to be a certain color and other words to be another color. Okay. This is how you would do that. Uh, let's go ahead. Get on into it. So we're just going to create a screen GUI real quick. And then we're going to do a text label. I'm going to make this a little bit more sizey. We're also going to do a script right here. We're just going to get more content. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We'll do it. It's going to be script up here. And then the uh, we'll have the text label. Or we'll just have the label. Um the text label. So then what we can do is we need to give us a constant variable. Okay, so text for the message we'll do message um, equals uh, let's think of something to say. Let's think of something to say, and then we can have it right here be what we want to say. So this is what we're going to get started. This is a little bit of HTML going on, okay? So we're going to have font, um, RGB, uh, actually no, that's not right, color equals RGB, and now we're going to have the color, okay? <clears throat> and we need these little these little ticks right here, okay? I don't even know what to do. Apostrophes, I don't know. But we need those little ticks right there, just FYI. So we're gonna do RGB, okay? Now in here, we're gonna put our RGB value. And for this, we can really just go to the, um, the text label and kind of pick us a little bit of an RGB. Does it show us the RGB? Yeah, RGB is going to show up right here in the properties. So let's, no, no, it's kind of a nasty green. Um, I like where we're going. I like where we're headed with this, though. I like where we're headed with this, though. Okay, let's pick that. I like that. So now we're going to put this in here. That's our little RGB color, okay? Uh, now let's pick another, let's just pick another color, but I think it's actually great to set me to do that. So we have it right here, right? This is our font color, blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to put another little dash or arrow to close that out. We're going to put our uh, percent sign with an S at the end. And then we're going to put a uh, dash font to close her out, okay? And so if you want to look up HTML real quick, just so you know kind of how to, how you would in HTML go about creating elements and, and adding properties to certain elements, this is kind of how you would do it, okay? So that right there, okay? And then this is to pick up our second argument to when we're about to call. I'll show you in a second. So we can have label, dot text well actually yeah let's change the text color to equals color three dot new I was thinking of a color but I just realized we can pick a random color I didn't pick that alright now we have label dot text equals string dot format first argument is going to be the message Second argument is going to be the uh, whatever we want to go here. So let's say it's a name or description, maybe. Description equals. Let's think of something to say. What do we want to say? Miley Cyrus is king. Okay. Back. All right, so description, quality. there we go. So straight out format, description, let's play around and see if it works. 
If it didn't, oh my gosh, it didn't work. All right, here's why it didn't work. We need to go to our text label, okay? And we need to set the rich text property to true or else it won't work. That's what makes it work. And so we can just, in here, we can just say label.rich text equals true, boom, there we go. And I also actually want to do text, I also want to do text scaled, text scaled equals true. It's a little bit too small for us to see. Boom, there it is. There it freaking is, guys. And that's how you would do that, okay? So, hope you guys liked the video. See you guys on the next one.